Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday, everyone. Sorry, I gotta just do something here. We have a problem with um Sari bot, so we have to fix that. We have to just manage that real quick. Okay. I think we're sorted. Welcome in everybody. Happy Friday. Hopefully you all had a good week so far. And we're doing some trucking today. Um, I think we should be all live on all platforms again. There was some issues at the beginning. Sorry about that. I think I had to restart the stream on the Twitch side like three times. I'm sorry for the pings. Um, that's mostly because I was testing something with um resolution scaling and i think the down i was trying to downscale to 720p and it wasn't like it wasn't having it so um we're back to 1080 so we're back to our standard like you know here on twitch at least youtube still has their own higher quality version of the stream really um i gotta make sure we're live there too it seems like we're also good on that front okay yeah, so let's get started here. Welcome in, everybody. Hopefully, you all had a good week. Um, I got some stuff that I'm going to talk about really quick before we get into the sim regarding the weekend and next week. Uh, Celine, hello. How's work? How's work? I know. I think you mentioned you're like, you had like a bunch of stuff going on today. Thanks for coming by. Congratulations coming in first. Um, yeah, so. Heck would work. E I'm done low. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Are you like, are you out for the day? Good, good. Okay. So yeah, quickly, uh, I forgot that we had uh, an appointment on Monday or I had an appointment Monday for the dentist. So no stream on Monday. If there is, it'll be like in the evening or whatever. At that point, the Creator Series Club is already closed. So my intention is to stream on Sunday. Um, I don't know when yet, but I will be doing it on Sunday sometime. Um, to do, just to run the... Uh, what's it called? Just to run the Creator Series. Uh, maybe other stuff too. Maybe hang out or whatever. But the Monday stream will be tentative. And I don't know what we're going to do on that day, if anything. Um, yeah, because I, I forgot about that. <laughs> but yes, welcome in, Celine. Hopefully the day was not too bad. Uh, when I was in Wolvie's chat this morning, you said you were, uh, what is it? You, you had to take a nap or something. So, And that was like probably lunch, like noon your time. So, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully things are a little chill. I mean, again, it's the weekend now. So, so that's great. I had a one call today. Is it like a long, like, is it a, like a long hour, few hour call kind of thing? Yesterday was eight hours of back-to-backs. Oof. Damn, that's nuts. But hey, that is, unfortunately, it is part of the, it's part of the gig, you know? <laughs> Only an hour today? Nice. Was this like, just like, so, I mean, I don't know if it's the same with you, but when I, when I used to work um, my day job, I would have like calls as well. Sometimes they're back to back, but sometimes it's not too bad when the calls are like, I'm not fully involved, like someone else is leading it and I'm just kind of there to like listen or whatever. But then there are sometimes there are, I'm leading it, which also takes a lot out of me and there's also other times where i'm not leading it but i'm there as a technical resource in which case my brain is way more activated at that point uh, and it gets more tiring i don't know it depends on i i guess for me like eight hours of that of the latter would be worse than like if it's eight hours of just me chilling and listening on a call then i could be 
you know, hanging out on some other people's Twitch chats while I'm in calls or whatever, and I should still be able to, like, do both. Sometimes it's a good, sometimes it's a, it's a shit. Ayya. <laughs> Ayya, dude. <laughs> it, 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 do, it do be like that, though, sometimes. But hey, at least the weekend is good. At least the uh, weekend is going, you know? Let me just change your category because we are going to be hopping into some American truck today. Just driving around and stuff. Oh, what is this video? Sometimes it may be good. Good, sometimes it may be shit. Hold on, hold on. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe. It may be good, sometimes it may be shit. <laughs> I mean... Valid, <laughs> pretty valid. Oh man, you have anything going on this weekend, man? What's 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 uh what's in the plans for you? Paintball with the boys. Shit, that's awesome. Do you have your own marker and stuff? I did. I used to do a lot of airsoft. Um, I well, I still have the stuff, but. It's kind of expensive to to uh to still go into fields. I mean, the field is not that far from where I am, so it's not too bad of a drive. But the it's a whole day affair, and oh, it's, it get it gets it gets up there. Renting isn't that expensive here, though. I mean, renting here isn't either. I think it's like I, I forgot. I haven't rented in a little while because I have I've had my own stuff. And the only reason why I do run my own stuff for airsoft is I like to tinker with it. So it's it's another toy to tinker on, rather than just um, a, a a device to to run with in the field. Um, but yeah, I used to I used to play airsoft quite a bit. I've I've got uh, two AR airsoft ARs, the a gas pistol and a bolt action sniper here. But it's not been used in like basically three years. Basically since the pandemic hit, I stopped doing all of that, and then. Now that I've got more time, I don't have a job, so <laughs> um, I'm not doing that anymore. However, I still have the stuff. The thing is that that kind of adds up more is like after, like while you when you're out. Usually for me, when I get end up getting out, you end up getting food from you, you end up eating out. You end up like, you know, the, the the field fees technically isn't too expensive, but you know you're gonna you're gonna eat. You're gonna like. I don't know, hang out after and everything you really do these days has a price tag to it, which is unfortunate, but it's true. So, but it is fun. I still, I still miss it. I used to play, is, I think I still have a, I think I might have a, a, an Instagram clip of what I used to play. Because renting technic renting usually isn't the expensive bit. It's the other stuff that incidentally could happen while you're like kind of all up in it, you know. Wife aggro one sec. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Man, I'm looking at I'm looking at my old Instagram. So I'm scrolling through my Instagram right now to look for that that airsoft video that I'm talking about. But I remember I'm looking at I made Instagram like Reels back in like a while back when I was very active on Reels. On um, I made I made some that are from Dirt Rally too. And yes, the game is older, but it still looks so good. Let's find the clip that's pretty. I don't know. I I don't even know. Uh, this one. Like, you would see stuff like this, where it's, like, so... 
for an older game, it it still looks really good. I I, I don't I don't think it's gonna translate well on screen, on stream rather. Uh, oh, this is when I used to have a short. I used to have short hair. Especially this one. I forgot what this was called, but this was one of the times when I used to drive a lot of dirt rally. And um, it it this one. Like there's like a there's a there's like a blur of some sort that looks good on screen. Like I don't know, there's I, I do think there is such a thing of things being too sharp and it doesn't look as good. Um Oh right, I was I opened I opened my Instagram for something and I completely got sidetracked. By the way, everybody, if you're listening, you we you know, music requests are still available, but we're just going to quickly take a look at this airsoft clip and then we're going to sit in the rig. Sitting here we still care. And then if there's someone actually listening on the uh, YouTube stream, they're just not going to hear music. <laughs> I know this that clip, the airsoft stuff was way before I did streaming, so it's like a long time. So it's been three years now. Wow. This was really cool. Sorry, I'm scrolling through my Insta to look for that clip, but I saw this. January 2021 was when I started and when I became an affiliate. Pretty cool. That was a long time ago. There. This was when I used to play. This was actually in Canada. In this was in Canada. The GoPro was on my uh my head. And And this was like I think I was using an older GoPro here, so it wasn't that sharp. But uh yeah, it it was it was pretty cool. Like I think I it was a great time. All right, let me switch our category fully. I think I accidentally brought it. Okay, we're turning off the... Uh the the pedal cam. There's no point. We're not like driving anything crazy. We are literally trucking today. Okay. Let's get ourselves sorted into the rig. Do do do. Do 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 do.
Let's get comfortable here. Semi charm kind of life, baby, baby. I want something else. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to tighten the screw on this. Oh, there's also one more thing that we gotta do. You gotta get head tracking sorted. Actually, I'll close the game first. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the Moza handbrake needs to be converted to a button because that's also mapped to our handbrake in game. Yeah. I want something else. Look me through this. Semi charm kind of life, baby, baby. I want something else. All right. All right. All right. I think we're going to do should we let's do manual for a little bit and then we'll switch to uh, automatic when I get tired. I think manual should be okay. There's so much dog fur in my hair, my, my shirt. <laughs> I know I'm just setting, I'm just getting logged in here so you're not really missing anything by the way. I want something else. Okay, we're in. So, there's a few things that I want to get sorted before we, like, do driving and stuff. Uh, I want to check, because I kind of want a new truck, so we're going to buy new trucks. Um, and also maybe hire another person to pass on this VNL that I'm driving. Um, so we're going to have to look at, where's our garages? Okay. The Albuquerque driver does not have anyone in it. So here's what we can do. Actually, we can just we can spend a lot of money right now actually. We can we'll fill all of the the, the, the drivers or all of the garages. We'll buy new drive we'll buy new trucks for them and then we'll just hire people. So we'll need to hire how many? Sorry, let's go back. 3 No, well, you know what? We may as well upgrade the Albuquerque one. It's only 100k to upgrade it. And in, well, there's like 2.6 million in the bank or something. So it's fine. Okay, so now it's all bought, upgraded. I think it's, is it all maxed? Yeah, okay, so they're all maxed. So one, we need two. Five, uh, sorry, two, seven, eight, nine. We need nine drivers. So we need to hire nine drivers, uh, driver managers. Wait, that's not it. Um, where do we hire? No, I don't need, the steering wheel is blocking my view. We don't need the steering wheel right now. Okay. Driver manager. No, recruitment. Hire a driver. Why are they all like low level drivers? Brother, why? Okay, whatever. But we need to hire nine.
Whatever. We'll hire. Well, these are all 1.7s. So we may as well hire a bunch. Uh, we'll put this guy in Salt Lake City. We'll hire. This one's full. We'll put this dude in Oakland. What? An available slot. Okay, we'll hire this dude. And we'll put them. Eric, hello, happy Friday. How are we doing? We're we're just we're 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 hanging out today. We're just chilling in an American truck. Okay, we'll put it here. Boo! How we doing? Happy Friday. Hopefully you had a great week. Hope hopefully everybody had a great week. We're we're I'm I'm trying I'm I'm just hiring a bunch of people for my for my my trucking agency effectively. Um that's full. That's full. Tucson has all okay. We'll put two more here. I'm I'm basically hiring out and fill, filling up all of my driver slots. So we can do more uh we can have a lot more we can buy a bunch more trucks and then just let the business kind of run, you know? Good, how about you? I'm doing good, Eric. Thanks for asking. We are we are just chilling today. Um Pretty happy actually because the video. So, I released a YouTube video yesterday on the YouTube channel. So, where Eric is watching me right now, um, that I did not expect to actually get any views. <laughs> I didn't even like, I didn't even like, what's the word? What's the word? I didn't even like announce it. And it, the, my Discord was pinged for it, but I didn't announce it anywhere else. Like, I didn't put it on like my Twitter or anything like that. Um, and I was just like surprised that that was a thing. Monetize it? Uh, no, I didn't. I'm not monetized on YouTube yet. I used to though. I I will say I used to be a I used to be a monetized channel on YouTube, and then but then YouTube decided to. I, basically, I used to be a YouTube partner like back in the day, like before Twitch even happened. Um, but the diff the 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 thing is um. I ended up having to, you know, I stopped making videos for a little while and they changed the rules part way in. Um, in that they decide they basically ended up giving me like either get, getting me an email saying, Hey, but either you get 4,000 view hours in a year or you lose your partnership. And at that point, I was like neck deep in like working corporate and I wasn't like, I didn't have time to make videos. So I ended up just having to really basically stop. So now, now that I have more time on my hands to make content, what I've been doing is I've actually just been making, so I've got videos, I'm making videos on YouTube. Um, actually next week, there'll be two videos coming out in one week, not just one. Um, and then I released a video yesterday. And then the last video for the DJ channel comes out, came out today. Which is basically the last... I think that might be the last... Did it come out today or was it last week? It will be the last video on the DJ channel for the time being. Because it's a little difficult to... It's getting really annoying having to deal with like... Um, what's the word? It's, really, it's getting really annoying having to deal with... Um, what's the word is it? copyright on youtube 
Like, funny enough, you know, if you were here on Wednesday stream, right? The Wednesday stream usually is a... Uh, usually is a uh, a WRC stream is when I'm rallying. Um, and what ended up happening was at the very end of that stream, you know, for fun with the community, uh, somebody from the, Twi the YouTube chat, um, as well as people from the Twitch chat was like, hey, you know, can you sing a song for us or perform something? So we went to my, my desk and I plugged in the guitar and I sang for people. Uh, and I sang everything, right? I didn't play any sort of music. I played the guitar and I sang. But then there were copyright thingies on that stream because I did sing on top of... Or I, I did sing a song that is owned by a copyright holder, apparently. So that's unfortunate. So... <laughs> But basically, I'm gonna I'm avoiding to do a lot of copyright heavy stuff on the YouTube channel. Um, in fact, somebody commented on the video that I released yesterday because I played. It was about Night Runners. It's a it's a it's an early access or Kickstarter game that is very much reminiscent of like old school PS one or PS two PS three racing games. Very arcadey, and I made a video out of it and then posted it on the YouTube channel. But what I did was I turned off the music. And replaced it with synthwave, like, royalty-free stuff. Uh, and somebody commented that the music is, like, 30% of the game. Why did I, basically, why did I remove it, right? It's a, that's BS, or whatever. And I'm just like, either that or I risk copyright strikes. <laughs> so, I'll do what I have to do to, say, to keep myself safe, you know? Uh, let's go buy some trucks. I need to buy nine trucks in total. Plus, well, yeah, nine trucks in total. One of them I'll drive. And then the other one that I currently drive, is I'm going to pass it on to somebody else. So let's go buy a Freightliner. I think I'm going to buy a bunch of Freightliners. I'm just going to keep it easy. Because the, the Cascadia interior looks good. Oh, I can just buy the same one that I used to have. I forgot about that. Actually, can we... Do you want to leave the truck dealership? Yes. Here's what we're going to do quickly. We're going to take a stroll down uh, Steam's workshop. And see if we can find some cool truck mods. This ain't a song for the broken hearted. But anyways, how what's everybody doing for the weekend? Does anybody have anything cool? Yeah, I mean, YouTube video-wise, I mean, it, it's awesome. I'm happy that it actually picked up. Um, I have two more videos coming out. One of them is doing... One of them is Rally School on WRC that I did off-stream. The other the other one is a, a, trucking, street, a trucking video. Um, kind of a new format that I'm testing with, which is kind of like... Um, a vloggy style thing so we're still driving in a in a we're still driving but it's more uh what is it it's it's trucking but kind of a vlog kind of mixed together so we're driving but then we're talking about just myself and talking about some updates about my life and stuff like that because the youtube admittedly the youtube channel doesn't get as much love in terms of updates from me and I'm trying to make sure that that's, that doesn't that 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 changes because the more the the most up to date people that are that are you know that I interact with would be the Twitch folk because I stream a lot on Twitch I stay I hang out a lot on Twitch but uh, I find I felt that the YouTube audience is not getting that same love so I'm gonna try to create these like this is gonna be a new series that I'm gonna try to do where. I'm literally tr driving the truck in Trucking Sim and I'm moving from one place to another, but it was just, it's going to be, you know, there's some quiet moments. We're, we're just hanging out. Um, so I could talk about stuff. 
Um, I have my. I might be announcing certain things, but it's gonna be the. It's gonna be like the vlog of that channel. So I'm excited. I'm excited to do more of that. Can I zoom in? Okay, let's look at the. Uh, let's look at trucks. I want to edit this one chapter, but it's crazy intimidating. Why, why is it intimidating? Is it because it's it's your own truck, though? No, I mean truck, truck. Oh, fuck did I say? It's your own like book or chapter, though, right? There we go. We can upgrade the trucks. International Pro Star. Um, okay, so it turns out you can get other trucks or other cars, like you can get a project at Elantra, a Hyundai, a Hyundai Elantra. I have all these changes that I want to make, and it's supposed to have important character development. Oh, I get it. It's, it's, a, it's very important. So you do have to like, you have to like think about it and make sure it, I get it. I get it now. My life. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's worthwhile buying new trucks. I just thought about this. Because buying new trucks would mean that... Or modded trucks would mean that... Um, I need to remove it when I'm convoying with people. So we're, gonna, we're not going to do that. So we're just going to buy it off the shelf. Um, Kentworth. Let's check, let's check Peterbilt. No, that's Volvo. I'm dumb. Mote. James, welcome for the, welcome in, brother. How you doing? Thanks for the follow. Stupid Twitch desktop, what's up? Everything okay? There's a Windows app? Huh? <laughs> Welcome in, by the way, guys. If you haven't checked out James yet, you have to. Proper vibe. DJs quite a bit. That DJs a lot in uh, Final Fantasy, but still... I, I mean, I don't play Final Fantasy, but I still follow. Thing. Oh, that! The highlight on the... The highlight on the unfollow. I get that. So like if you open a if you open a Twitch stream and you sp spam space or enter by accident, it'll unfollow that person. I get it. Thank you for the refollow, then I appreciate it. How you doing? How's how's life, man? We're just we're just chilling today. It's a trucking stream. We're literally just buying trucks, driving around. Music is free for you to add to though. By the way, if you'd like to, if you look, if you want to add music to the queue. Exclamation point SR uh, with a song title and the name or a YouTube link and it'll add it to the song queue. So we're all it's open queue today. So add whatever you want. Have a great time. That's this is what this is usually what happens on Fridays. Fridays is usually kind of a chill type of vibe. Uh I'm good. Toys my last day of work, so I'm chilling for a bit. Nice. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. Like, as you know, I've been, I've, I've, I'm, as you know, like, I haven't been working for a little while because I got laid off in Feb. So, um, I ended up, but, um, I'm going to buy this one. No. I'm going to buy, like, three of these or some. Oh, well, two of them. I'm going to give to this guy, the older man. Um, I was, I'm pretty happy today that um, I, re I released a YouTube video on my on Thursday last yesterday afternoon, but I never really like announced it or anything. But somehow people found it. Like there's 60 views on it, 
overnight, which is not a which is pretty big for my channel on on YouTube. Um, so I'm pretty happy about it. It's like a it's a gaming type thing. I stopped. This will be like the I stopped uh, making DJ sets on YouTube because of copyright BS. I guess they don't want to deal with it anymore. So I I try I converted that to just making um videos for you the my main YouTube which is the gaming one. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Today's your last day. Is this your last day from the uh what's that day? Your 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 temp job? So this is this is truck number 2. We'll give it to, actually, we'll give it to the dudes in Mexico, or Mexico, uh, New Mexico. What the fuck? Uh, I'll buy small trucks to give to the Oakland ones. Uh, well, technically next Monday, but I was let go to let go. Oh, they just like we don't need you anymore, kind of deal. Kind of makes sense. Like, I mean, not in the sense that it, you know, that it's good that it happened to you, but I'm saying, it it happens where they're like. You know what? You're gone on Monday anyways. Just take the day off kind of thing and just fuck off, you know? Like, not fuck off in a bad way. Just, like, just take the day off kind of deal and then you're done. Because I'm, I'm assuming you're paid till Monday, right? I hope. That's basically what he told me. <laughs> I was, I too was once a manager or a leadership person. So I kind of know how things pan out. Uh, but we are... It is, it is. Remember me for centuries. So what do you have going on then, James? Are you are you just gonna like do you have anything planned out for the next little bit? I'm buying I'm buying like nine like eight trucks in, in a in a in one go. Um Nope, lol, just DJ and job hunt. Dude, best of luck to you, man. Like, I'm looking at... I'm definitely looking at... I'm looking at it uh, as well. Like, I haven't been actively hunting. But I have been... I'm still, like, looking, right? I still have the job boards sending stuff to me whenever. But, dude, the market is so f screwed up right now. We'll probably be streaming for a night with friends at some point. But nothing planned. Nice, nice. Nice. I do... I do... Um, oh, shoot. I need to move my... The, why am I driving this truck? I didn't want to drive it. I wanted to give it to somebody else. Oh, shit. Sorry. Speaking of this weekend... um. Whoa. Whoa, Vela, how are we doing, love? I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much. Uh, what were we playing today? Critter Cove. Hey, yo, that's pretty. That sounds pretty cute. Endless Endeavor. Welcome in, Vela. Welcome in. Happy Friday. Welcome in, guys. If you are okay, sorry. Let me let me just. I'm kind of distracted. You we were playing the playtest. Oh, is that a new game? Wow. Well, thank you for the raid. Thanks for bringing your friends over here. Hopefully you had a great stream. Um, if you need to dip, by all means, you are welcome to raid and, raid and fade if you need to go. Uh, touch some grass, touch some ass, touch some food, whatever you need to do. Uh, but if you are new here, welcome. My name is Jam. We're, we're a variety channel, but we do mainly trucking and driving stuff these days because of this entire rig that I built. So, um, if you're into that, we do also music uh, here as well on Tuesdays. So, if you're into that, you know, make sure to drop the follow, but welcome in. Hopefully, you enjoy your stay here. It's coming out in a month or two. Nice. I want, let's read the, uh, the automatic, the, the AI shout out for Vela. Meet, meet Vela the wench, which by the way, side note, 
Vela, Vela's name keeps getting auto modded in my channel. I had to like manually allow her name to to like work because because of the word wench for some reason. Uh, auto mod is just wild. Uh, been saying Pixel since the Atari era. From ass in, uh, oh, ass assinating a yo. Uh, in Critter Cove to Final Fantasy Friday quests. She's all about the diverse gaming life. Whether it's Minecraft Monday. Chill or comp torture with pals. She's here for the fun. And an occasional swear... Occasional swear word? I'm not sure if that's real. I've been in the chat a few times. <laughs> and... Um, by the way... Uh, Overwatch Season 10? Uh, are, are, you, are, you, are, you getting, are you getting back into that? Or are you getting into that? Because I might try it. I might try it actually. Over, I'm, I'm excited to try. I'm, I mean, I'm always down to try. I'm always down to try new things. And if it if it sucks, then I'll be vocal about it and then stop playing it. <laughs> That's really how it is. Uh, but Overwatch season ten is exciting because they're changing up the play uh, that they're over, they're changing up the uh, the strat for 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 this season. So exciting. I might or not. I might or not. We'll see. They're buffing hamster, and he's the most hated character. I love hamster. I like to play hamster. And Venture seems so stupid, so uh, I feel that. But I do. I love. I love playing hamster. I like it. Um, before the raid, we we're just kind of chilling. We were talking about. Um, we we're just talking about jobs and stuff because James in the chat literally just got laid off or got lost their job today. Or not laid off. Is that called laid off? Would you say that's laid off? Like your job was done. It's a temp thingy that it's a contract job that ended today, basically. So it's not like anyways, me included, I also got laid off in Feb. So this is this is my full time gig now for the next little bit. And we're just talking about mar job markets and such. And I think the last message that James sent before the raid happened was job market is really bad in the States. Trust me, brother, it's not just the States. I'm in Canada, it's so much, it's so shit here as well. Because whatever happens in the USA happens here too. And sometimes it could be worse. Um, the, only, the only thing that I say would be kind of an advantage in that scenario was at least we have healthcare, maybe? But either way, we're screwed. <laughs> um, since the layoffs attacked, effect effectively attacked every single company, out there and uh with that the job market is full whether you're whether or not you're in the usa whether or not you're in canada it's the same thing it's the same thing that i'm dealing with here um it's a little wild but it is that it, that is kind of how it works um, but yeah, so going back to, going back to that, it's just wild. Anyways, uh, and for the Raiders, just so you guys know, we are trucking today. We're, we're just kind of working around assigning trucks to employees. Cause I hired like nine people in one shot. I burned a million dollars already <laughs> in the in-game money. I wish it was real money, but no. Um, and I'm basically... Wait, where's my name? There. And uh, really just moving things around. I'm going to relocate this. Healthcare is getting... Healthcare... Uh, healthcare is getting stupid though. Waited two months for an ultrasound when I injured my thumb and couldn't use it. My shoulder has been injured for a month, waiting over a month, but interesting. I suppose it's dependent on where you are and your doctor, I guess. Because for me, it's just convenient. I literally email my, uh, not email, I literally do like an appointment with the guy. We get on a call the day after or two days after. I tell him what's up. He's like, here, I'm going to email you a thing. You go to the thing, you get it done, and then that's it. <laughs> it I suppose it depends on where you are. Um, 
here in VC, I can't say it's good either because I don't know the overall like landscape. But personally, I've been like, I literally just like my, my doctor, I would, he has like an online thingy now. So like, I would just like send up an appointment request. I'll get an email back saying, uh, you know, here's the time or whatever. And then he'll call me. Uh, I'll be like, I want, I would, essentially, I would, I would ask for a phone appointment and then he'll call me on that time. You know, my, he might be late 10 minutes, maybe an hour, but it's not too bad. Uh, he'll call me, I'll tell him what's going on. And then he'll either say, oh, it might be best for you to show up in the, in the clinic. Then I'll drive to the clinic the day, you know, whenever we decide it's, ha- it's happening. Or if it's like, oh, you need to get some bloods drawn or check your whatever it is, then I'll, he'll send the requisition directly to wherever, the, the, either the, the, the pharmacy for medication or the, the requisition gets sent directly to like the x-ray or the lab or whatever it is. I show up, I show my ID that this is me. They poke my hand, they, grab, they poke my arm, they grab their blood and I go home. Like, it's, it's, it's honestly been a great experience for me here, but like I said, it's more of a personal experience. It's possible that it's kind of shit, depends on the doctor that you get. Um, also, where you are, like, you know, to your, to your point, Vela, it's probably different now where you are, um, which it sucks. Uh, I get it. It's definitely something that needs to be worked on too. So I don't, next, I, I don't know much about the whole, the politicking part of that though. Oh, driver manager. So it could be, it could, it could get better, but I can't tell. Um, one more, I'm going to buy one more truck for Bridget and then let's get it. Let's get Bridget something else. Let's get a Mack truck for Bridget. And then I'm going to buy my own truck. I don't understand how we have no, so many ultrasound places and yet no appointments. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of wild. I'm not, yeah, I am, I am, it is unfortunate that you're dealing with something like that. I can't tell, I, I, I can't express, or I, I can't know how it feels because I've never ha- had to deal with it, but I can empathize with it. Because like, for instance, for my dad, right, he goes in for like a normal thing, and then in that same conversation, they're like, oh, maybe... My dad was talking about certain symptom, and then my the doctor was like, "Oh, maybe you should get yourself like a like an ultrasound or something." And then I think I don't know what the timeline was. I think I think the ultrasound happened in about a week or two weeks time from that day. Ultrasound happens. They find out that he's got like a little blockage type of deal on like in the on his like one of the one of the things one of the uh, arteries or veins in his uh, like chest heart area. That's it. Surgery. He goes into surgery and basically gets that fixed. Um, and then, you know, if we didn't find out, then, you know, it could have been an embolism for dad. And it kind of worked out for better. But it, it, does ha- it does happen really. For us, I think, in my family, we got lucky. I will say it's more of luck, probably, than just the entire system as a whole. I think the system as a whole, has problems. And that's the same thing with everywhere else in the world, right? Like, you know, you don't see Americans complain. You see Americans complaining about their own thing as well. Canadians have their own, we have our own problems here. Um, and it's, it's, it's just that Canadians also have a little bit, since we're so close to the USA, whatever American problems are happening down there, somehow get up to where we are. Um, but not in the same extent, I would say. Like, it's pretty similar. Glad he was able to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's something that we are lucky to. Like, I, like I said, I'm always going to say that we are of, we got the lucky, the luck of the draw there where our doctor was actually like really good and really fast at stuff. Um, it depends. It does depend for sure. Mr. K adding the uh, Rebecca Black. It is Friday. Welcome, man, K. How are you? How's, uh, how's, there, how's your week today? Or how's your week been? Sorry. 
Let's go find the... Uh, I'm gonna go find customize. I'm gonna house jam. Jam's okay. Jam's okay. Could be better, but also pretty content for the week, to be honest. Um. Oh hell yeah, we're we're driving the Freightliner. Um. I've been uh, been grinding. I've been grinding yesterday. Oh god, I have to talk about this. Yesterday, so there's a game called City Car Driving which is on Steam and basically, what is it? It's kind of like a driving simulator, but more of on the normal day-to-day -day driving simulation rather than racing. Um, and with that, it's usually like, sorry, yeah, this is going to be story time. So it's going to be a little bit of a long lull before we get driving. Um, but yeah, I tried making a, I wanted to make a YouTube video with it. And then, so my intention now is for new games, I'll make a YouTube video about it first, and then we'll play it on stream together. And this city car driving game is, like I said, is more of a... It's slower paced. It's, you know, teaching you, the player, how to drive. So it could either be, you know, when to use your signal light, how fast you're having to go through an intersection, um, what gear you're supposed to take when you're making a corner, stuff like that. And it's not like fast, it's slow. And I was like, that might be a cool video to make, right? So I bought the game. It was on sale last week for like eight bucks. And I bought the game. Digital, yeah, digital driver's ed, basically. And I was, I was, I start, I get it sorted out. And turns out it doesn't work with any of this. Like after I spent an hour or so troubleshooting the entire setup, it doesn't recognize my wheel. It doesn't recognize my pedals. It doesn't recognize any of this. And I was like, the fuck? And the problem... And I spent like an hour or two trying to like get this sorted out. And for context, there's a re the reason why I don't stream on Thursdays is Thursdays is a production day for me. Thursdays is a day where I either film, write, edit videos for the, the main YouTube channel. Um... And every hour of that day or every minute of that day counts because I need to spend that time editing too. So I had to pivot like three hours in into the day. I was like, okay, fuck, I can't do this. So now what am I going to do? So I had to pivot and made, actually, funny enough, I got two videos made yesterday, which is pretty hilarious. But yeah, um, that sucks. So... That's one thing that you don't necessarily know when you're learning about like driving sim stuff or like wheels, like these direct drive stuff, they're really good, but they don't work with everything. Like you're, if you want to play like literally every game under the sun, you go to your local Best Buy and buy yourself a Thrustmaster or like a Logitech. Yeah, it's going to feel like ass sometimes, if you, especially if you're coming in from, if, you're, if you've already had experience with this stuff. But it'll work. <laughs> so it's unfortunate. So we're not going to have that on, on, the, on the channel anymore. Until I fi unless I figure out how to make it work. Or um, I guess if I play controller. But it's not going to be as fun, you know? Um, that, was, that was yesterday. That was, yesterday was a little wild. It was, it was just like I had to pivot. Like, it was like 10 a.m. I started working in my I started working here yesterday morning at like seven, seven thirty. I sat down, set up the cameras, set up everything, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna record a video and then quick edit and then send it to the, send it to be uploaded and such. Two I think two hours into the day, I gave up and I was like, you know what? I don't think this is worth my the time it takes to like set this up. So I had to like pivot, but hey, I don't know. That's how I am. I'm I'm tired, but I'm happy. I'm 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 like really good. Cause like a lot, some of you already know that like since I got I I left or not left, but oh, there's an ad. Okay, I'm gonna pause that conversation. I'm gonna continue this first 
Uh, hubby asked about dinner. No problem. Thanks for thank you for the thank you again, Vela. Thank you again for the raid, and uh, have a great meal. I'll catch you around again later on. So we're gonna wait till the ad is over. But in the meantime, I'm gonna build this car, this truck, because I'm the one. I'm gonna be driving this one. Uh, I do want like. I want long. I want the truck to be, for like long haul type stuff. Uh, long drives. So I'm gonna need the. Two hundred forty gallon. Actually, does this does this work? There. I'm gonna do the we'll do the two forty gal gallon six by four. Oops, oops, sorry. Uh, no, we're gonna keep the, the the sleeper. We're gonna get that. We're gonna do which motor? Obviously, we're gonna want more horsepower and torque. So, are we doing the coming? So, six hundred, six oh five, five extra horsepower. Can I sort this? How can it take this same on? Oh, there's the same amount of torque at the lower RPMs. You know what? Let's let's try the uh, Cummins X15, 605 horsepower, 25, 2050, and then transmission wise, I want the 18 speed because. We're gonna have a better experience with. Uh, we're gonna have a better experience with. Uh, just highway speeds. If we're staying a lot of high, doing a lot of highway, the eighteen speed probably would be the best strat. So we save fuel. Oh, that's not it. I think this is it. Let's look at the interior. Brake. Uh, the 2022, duh. Because we want the, I, I want this screen and this screen to be viewable. Shut up when I'm talking to you. All right. What kind of paint job should we do? Ooh, the red wave looks pretty cool. Let's do this one. Digital driver's ed, cool idea. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a cool idea. Um, I just wish it's not really the fault of the games all the time. Sometimes it's literally just the the hardware itself. Like Moza as is not as good as a is not a great thing to really have. Or to have to, to work with uh, other games. So let's look. Let's add some cats to our. Um, what I want the I want black and white. Yeah. Nothing wrong with me. Nothing wrong with me. Something's got to give. 
Something's got to give. Let's put the uh, let's put a cat collar there. I think we're gonna put a cat bed on there. Again. Nothing wrong with me. Nothing wrong with me. Oh. This this truck is by default manual or automatic. There's no third there's no third pedal down there. Where's your where's the uh shifter? Where the, where's the uh where do you do like drive and park and such? Anyways. Telepathy shifted. I'm assuming it's in the screen somewhere. I'm not a big fan of that vibe. You know, that's been a thing recently with new cars where it's like, everything has been like, oh, everything has been, like they changed the shifter to like a knob or a button. There's this one from, the, from Honda, I think, or Acura, where the shifter is like um, a window window switch where you pull back. You put your finger into the button and you pull it back instead of pushing down. It's just... Why do they have to, like, reinvent the wheel all the time, man? Mm. Let's do the SEI wheel. 200 grand. Alright, I'm buying it. Let's go... Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're, we're driving a new truck. Since it's computer controlled anyway, all computer controlled any oh wait, uh may might as well play with design, don't big big shifters anymore. That's true. I guess I'm just trying, I just don't like change. <laughs> I think it might just be a me a me issue, you know? Okay, I'll take pull. I'll take the puck slash knob over some fake sticks. That's true. All right, let's actually park here and then we'll start. We'll do our first job for the day. Actually, for truck for trucking streams, is this better? Instead of um, this one. Like the Logitech H shifter feels better than early Dodge Journey one. I mean, it's a Dodge Journey though. <laughs>
But I get your point. I get your point. It's uh, since everything is digital anyways, may as well, right? Especially if it's an automatic. I also yes, I totally understand. Uh, let's switch to ma or I don't think I changed my mind. We're gonna drive automatic today. I'm too uh, I'm too lazy to kick clutches. Oh, we need to find a job. Lol. Uh, let's find a job. We're in Colorado now. I don't... It's a 1100 kilometer or mile drive. It's only 2 o'clock. It's fine. Let's do it. This is my last resort. And that actually kind of says something too because the Logitech H pattern isn't the greatest either. Are you still running the Logitech sh uh, H shifter? Okay. For now? Ah. Uh. I mean, it's like a... It, it, it does the job. You know what I mean? Like, it does the job. You can also 3D... I think you have a printer, right? You can print those little stiffener things. I printed a lot. I mean, if you were you're not local, I would have just given you some. I printed a lot because I used to have an H pad, a, a Logitech shifter. Um, but obviously now I have, a, I have the Thrustmaster now. Actually, I'll do manual because I want to try. I want to see how this car drives, this truck drives. Oops, not one. Oh my gosh, this one has this, this car. This truck has a. Uh, has a sonar thingy like it like it uh it beeps when you get close to things that's pretty cool Go straight on. i don't have a printer at the moment but if i keep keep it much longer i'll have a local print shop make me a couple of things yeah there's th there's a thing that you can put inside that makes it notchier and then it has different like versions of the same fitting that would decrease or increase the notchy feel of the shift. It's actually, it feels really good. Um, this one is, I mean, it does the job. It works a lot better than my Moza, that's for sure. This one's a TH-8A, yeah. There, there, there was a, there was a sale because I've been. I mean, as some some of you already know. I've been complaining about the motor shifter for a long time, uh, and I find the, I found a local computer store. Uh, the local computer store, like. have one for like $50 off and I was like I kind of need it since I, I basically uh, the way I justified it in my head is like this is what I do and I, if I'm not having a great time while I'm shifting or driving then it kind of translates to the content too so I don't want to I don't want to do that or somebody yells takes you out of the frame I think this one's better view-wise uh, on the scene. 
I don't know. Let me know what you all think. Go straight up. They kind of do the same job, I think. I've taken pleasure in the awful things you put me through. Hold on. One sec. Is there no alerts here? Oh, no. That's why I didn't hear the raid. Because the alerts weren't set up on... Uh, on this scene. There's a there's a cheaper version of the Thrustmaster though. It's a, there's the TH8S, which I think drummer drummer guy is what is using now because he he had bought one. Um, that one doesn't have the the sequential conversion. Then again, I have a, a dedicated sequential shifter here, so I, I realized that was a moot purchase. I should have. I could have gotten away with just driving with, uh, uh, just driving with the 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 lower end thrustmaster. Erica, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? It was nice. It was nice hanging out with y'all today. I was watching some VCT, so I was actually at in Aria's uh, Discord this morning, kind of watching VCT Val the Valorant. What does VCT stand for? Valorant Championships. Or something like that. Um, like I, I don't play Valorant anymore, but I still do kind of watch esports because it's fun, uh, fun to watch rather. So yeah, I was hanging out with them in, in the Discord today. It was pretty cool. Uh, in Arya's Discord, not mine. Doing good, nice, nice. It is, it, it is the morning though for you. Oh no, no, it's like. 11 p.m. for you, maybe? We're driving a new truck today. I just bought the... I, I got this new truck in-game, which is the... Um, the... What, what's it called again? Freightliner Cascadia. I used to drive the Volvo. Um, and I ended up hiring, like, nine nine new drivers in one shot. And then bought nine new, car, nine new trucks in one shot. Uh, I basically burnt like a million and a bit dollars or actually almost two million dollars um to hire like nine truck nine drivers upgrade and then and buy them each trucks um but well, hopefully i can make it back in the in in somehow with the deliveries that they would make 11 11 20 okay it is the weekend though so do you have anything going on you going on? You going somewhere? Those things we're looking up is said with nothing good enough. Family visiting tomorrow and Sunday. Nice. It's always a great time hanging out with family, though. Are they staying with you? Yeah? Oh, okay. It was a nice ride. Time to get the job done. <sighs> Alright. Because I'm bending over backwards still you may. One thing to complain when and you're driving me insane. Are you just are you taking them anywhere? I'm assuming they're since you said they're arriving eight PM, that sounds like an airline. So they're probably flying to you. That must be fun. You have anything going on, though? Here we go. Are y'all going somewhere? Or? Red. Good afternoon, man. How we doing? Turn right. Uh, 
I can't sit back and wonder why. Happy Friday, Red. Hopefully the work's been good. Go straight it's the, the week is over finally. It's the weekend. I want to I want to live vicariously through people. I want to know what's going on on the weekend. Y'all doing anything cool? I'm probably going to spend the weekend playing Hell Divers and practicing for the EA Creator Series. Her flight leaves on Monday mon from my city. Oh, got it. Just had some waffles for lunch. Hell yeah. We had uh we had it's like a hash from uh Costco. It's one of those it's like a potato with like vegetables and some ham and bacon and stuff. We got it from Costco. All you have to do is put it in the fryer. Dude, it's so good. Cheap, easy meal. Although I don't know what we're doing for dinner. We haven't we haven't talked about that cuz when I started my stream Tiny has been bu Tiny's been uh, in meetings all day, so we only really saw each other for lunch. We live in the same house, but we barely see each other. It's crazy. Um, like we we meet each other for lunch downstairs. We eat and then we come back up to our own offices and do kind of our own things. It's just because it's busy. Because usually for me, that's why I don't. So there's a reason why I don't. That's the reason why I don't stream on weekends. Uh, this weekend will be as. This weekend will be an exception. I will be streaming on Sunday sometime because I will be driving the uh, EA EA Creator Series for WRC. I'm probably gonna not do well, but I just my aim for Saturday, Sunday is to just finish. <laughs> I need to I need to survive the stages. That's all I care about. Um, that plus I joined the series like halfway in like. The, were like I think three or four events I've already completed um, and I'm already like I joined halfway in so I don't think I'll get much position um, but last last I checked I'm like P500 something so I don't think I'll get anywhere but for me it's gonna be just fun um, but I will try my best so on Sunday I will be doing that uh, on stream Light chat interaction, I will have chat overlays off. Uh, I mean, overlays on stream will still be there. Um, but um, the chat that I have on the sim, like on here, will be off until uh, stages are finished. A lot of people here, com a lot of people here, Valley Convenience is not common. That's, that is not a common place internationally. Wait, I learned today that Costco recently opened a store in Stockholm. Not sure if they will be enough to complete our domestic grocery stores. Or compete with our domestic grocery stores. Um, why would... Why do you, why do you think it's different? It's going to be different. Oh, bah, sorry. Why do you think... English is hard, guys. Sorry. I have an excuse, I'm ESL. Um, wh why do you think does Cos would, would Costco have a hard time competing with local? <laughs> Did you just... Are you just starting work, Red, or...? Or are, it's it's like two thirty, so I'm assuming you're like part way into your day. I don't know uh, if it's the same store, same as international stores, but just about every store I've been to outside of Sweden has short conveyor belts, and they have they don't have a splitter. Keep right, and then what's a splitter? Is that a thing that's... Does North America have that? Kinda, yeah. Had to pick up parents earlier. Fair, fair. Outside Chicago Can't stop driving I don't know why 
I did. I already played. I played some Helldivers in the morning already. <laughs> I played some Helldivers with uh with with Rick and not Rick. Will. Hitler. Will and uh, Alvin. Alvin's Fang. Uh, I wanted to finish the daily. The daily was super easy, by the way. Mother, you s Tesla drivers! I swear to God, man. I had my signal on the entire time. We want to be able to take our time packing our stuff. Oh, so it splits to a different... Okay, I get it. Then um, some stores do have it here. That's it's. I think I get it. So it's the one where like, there's one conveyor, but then you can split it to a different lane, so they can be on the other side and they can pack their stuff on their own like, properly instead of just like everybody is in one lane and just getting like congested. I mean, I hope I hope the workday isn't too messy for you, Red. It's not. It's Friday. As long I guess as long as no one pushes to production on a Friday, right? Winco and Cub use splitters. Oh, okay, so it is a thing here for sure. There is there is a Winco actually like close to, well not close, but once across the border there's a Winco down there. I've been there once or twice. I think Winco's the one that's like twenty four hours, no right? Is that I might um okay. Okay. Oh wait, I turned off cruise control for a reason for some reason. My local hy vs bags for me. Hacking your shit uh, in grocery stores while next people are already getting... Yes! You're like... You're, you're getting like... Pushed to like finish it. You know, you gotta get it done. So to a point that you might be in a panic. That... Um, you have... That you can't... Uh, you you may you might accidentally destroy the stuff that let's say let's say you bought like eggs or something or cheese and it gets like completely crushed about things because you're like massively packing things i get it hi my, my local hy -Vee's, that that's a local i'm assuming that's a local um company or a local Food chain, grocery chain. People hated L Little or Li LIDL when it first arrived here because they didn't even have a conveyor belt past the cashier. You were expected to... Oh, yeah, it was one of those things that they just slide, slide down. Every domestic grocery store in Sweden has a long conveyor belt that has a cashier and a splitter. Mmm. Does the Costco in Sweden not have? Oh, the one the Costco in Stockholm not have that. Midwest, mid Midwest, Midwest. Uh, chain grocery store. Got it. Midwest. I can't type. I read it. I kind of read it in some in the same way. But it, it could also just be my accent coming out sometimes. Sometimes I can't when I'm like. When I'm talking really fast, sometimes my Filipino accent comes out. I can't control it. By the way, reminder to hydrate yourself if you're listening. It's the t it's a uh, it's e very easy to kind of drown yourself in like work or gaming or Twitch streams, and you forget to like take care of yourselves. This is the this is the reverse, this is the reverse hydrate redeem. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make that up now. Where where the streamer is the one reminding the viewers to take care of themselves. I don't know where we are. Oh yeah, if anybody else is using Seribot, I think Red, you use it, right? It's broken right now. <laughs> they, uh, the account owner got an email from Twitch 
because of like I guess it's excessive amounts of API calls or something, and so it got it got locked. So the Seri bot account and the person, the main Seri codes account, both of them got hit. I use a stiff ass laptop keyboard at work with a medium soft mech at home and switching Fox with my head. I dude, I feel that. Okay, that's why I always bring my own keyboard. Like when I used to work in an office, this is even before the work from home era. I have my mechanical keyboard at home, and I would buy the ch a cheap but close feeling keyboard to leave at my desk at the office because at the end of the day my efficiency gets a lot better when i'm typing faster and if i'm not typing if i'm typing and i'm typing faster when i'm more comfortable so i figured it, it it's equivalent to how fast i can really work so i get it I damn here is a oh I can't I can't t click that link but I would I would love to I, I don't have a I can't <laughs> I always wondered how that was working out because that's a lot of API calls to Twitch that's very true it's pretty interesting though I, I would have thought that a, a bot like Seri, Seri or whatever would have at least some pull on the Twitch side of things to you know, at least be given enough, like, leeway for it. But apparently, the email, the I read the tweet right before I went live because the reason why I know about this is when the stream went live. I never had to like, I I didn't see, Seribot pop up, and I was like, wait a second. So that's why the the stream had to be restarted a few times because I thought my stream was broken, first of all. Um, and I, as it, that also the reason why the starting soon screen on the Twitch version of the stream is so much longer, is because I had to like I was like I, I fell into the quick the short rabbit hole of trying to figure out what happened to Seribot, so yeah. Um, apparently the the Gmail their their, the Twitch account got all screwed up. You had to permit Buttsbot? What did Buttsbot say? Wait, what was the... Did it, did Buttsbot get automated? Like, what was the, uh... What was the word? Buttvice? <laughs> is it... Be oh, it's, it's probably because Buttsbot is not modded in this channel, isn't it? I, I decide... I, I, I kind of decided against the against modding butts bot because of that like i didn't want to deal with i don't want to have i don't want to provide a lot of consent to other accounts until i have to basically if that makes any sense also red how how's it been with your uh have you have you been actively looking for like used sim stuff? Because you mentioned you're looking to build a rig at some point, not in a hurry, but you're like you're looking at it, right? Go straight up. Oh, one thing, man. Haven't looked recently. Fair. Uh, me neither, to be honest. Maybe I just use VR for a while. You could. Go straight I mean, I think the one, the biggest reason why having a rig like this, or even the one that I used to have, the one that's like a folding chair, having something like that was convenient, was more about that it's already there and all you have to do is sit down. Um, you don't have to like re-rig everything, especially if you're somebody who prefers a specific setup like you know you 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 prefer that the steering wheel is like like this much from your face you your shifter location um being in the same spot all the time for for muscle memory's sake like for me when i sh switched from when i switched from the moza shifter that used to be here and the thrustmaster shifter that's here and then i moved the handbrakes around 
when I was play when I was rallying, I was grabbing in the air because I I I'm so used to having where the you know, knowing where the shifters are. Um, if I think that might be the thing, right? Because VR that doesn't. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hit the post. Never mind. Um, with VR, it does. You know, it it minim it removes the. No, no. Try remembering where things are in VR. That's true. Don't you drive in VR as well, Kay? You you rally in VR, right? I mean, I did see. If he, I did see. Um, I'm trying. Question mark. <laughs> There's a question mark. <laughs> I did see Red try Red's um, ACC stream uh, when he was using the PSVR. Albeit that the res is downscaled because the PSVR is only 720p, it looked pretty good, and it didn't seem like Red was having any discom discomfort. So. That was that that's good. I'm trying, my stomach isn't liking it. Same. That's, that's also what I was I was telling, right? I tried it. I tried trucking. So I figured trucking might be better. So it's less easier. It's less likely for me to do a lot of abrupt things that I would get dizzy. Trucking where I'm not even moving too much. Brother. Come on, dude. All right, ain't no, I'm not going to bother. Ain't nobody got time for this. It looked better f it looked better on stream than it did for you. That's unfortunate. Maybe if that's the case then maybe you can be like you can just look into getting a used Quest 2 or something. So at least the Quest 2 is 1080 on both eyes. I wound up driving with one hand on the wheel the whole time like Timo Solonen. <laughs> Wait, what's the what's the other hand doing? Up in the asshole of Timo. I need I need that uh, I need that oh shifting. I I I need that sound alert. Yeah, I don't feel sick at VR or I'll never have. That's awesome. I looked into it. Like, there's some people where, like, you... The, the easiest thing, and I did feel a difference, is when you're driving and when you're doing anything VR that has a lot of movement, so driving, FPS, any sort of, like, walking, uh, where it there's a disconnect, you put a fan in front of you and then just have it blowing air into your face. And that kind of... Tr rewires your brain in some way that you don't get dizzy the other thing too is you um you uh, switch to a you you take uh motion sickness medication like gravol or something like that you take it and then you kind of build your resistance that way it's it's a little i mean i'm not really a big i'm not really a fan of having to take meds just to play video games that feels a little weird Seems like I'm the one of the lucky ones. Oh, to be oh, you either that red or you actually worked yourself through it. Like you, when you have um, you probably it's possible that you've already built the tolerance as you were growing up or as you were playing VR throughout the time, right? I thought of it, I thought of about medicating, but I have a hard time swallowing pills. Oh, that's a different that's a different problem. Yeah. Which I think it's not too difficult of a not that big of a deal in some cases because you can just like crush the crush it and just take it right or if it's a capsule you can pop it open and just drink it my wife who has vertical issues IRL actually does better in VR that's not fair that is not fair <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, 
although um, this is more per more more, per more pertinent to Red's to Red because we're in the same place. We live in the same place. Uh, I have oh, every single time I open like Facebook Marketplace, I have seen a lot of like monitors and rigs out there locally. So you might have you might have a great good time, or you might have a good experience looking for new stuff, or not new stuff, but like used stuff through Marketplace. The strongest sensation I had playing VR was VR Arcade? Question mark. We played the PUBG clone. Oh, was this the was this Sandbox? I've never been. Um, there was there was some, some friends of mine who wanted to try going at some point, but I never really had a chance to. That's never free. Smallish plays on Broadway. Oh, might be one of those. The one of the. Or oh, I know what that is. It's like Evolve VR or some shit. Close to, it's close to where Jollibee is. I drive by that place to go to Jollibee before, but guess what? I got a Jollibee close to me now. I know. I know that kind of semi docks me a little bit, but that's okay. There's multiple Jollibees here. I'm so tired of being here. Apparently Taco Bell is coming downtown. My prayers have been bro, what? Taco Bell sucks, dude. I mean, okay, it's fine. Let me let me rephrase that. There's better places. But when you're pissed drunk and it's super late, yes, Taco Bell does the job. <laughs> These wounds won't seem to heal. I'm just I'm just imagining the, the, the experience of a YouTube stream viewer. Like there's no music. So if I'm singing towards something, it's just my voice. <laughs> they just hear me. <laughs> I think Taco Bell in America is better though. I would rather take Taco Bell US than Canada. What do you normally get from Taco Bell then? Like I'm not, I guess the crap, I mean, okay. Maybe I was a little too hasty. I do actually kind of enjoy the cheesy gordita, but uh, I think I'm, I'm always, I'm think, I'm, I'm speaking within the context of, um, other places that are better for the price is what i'm saying like like there's other mexican kind of quick service style stuff here that's i'm pretty basic i usually get just beef taco and burrito oh the beef stuff is good i don't mind the beef yeah last time i got a chicken burrito because the new cantina menu i'm not sure how i feel about chicken from taco bell because I don't know how it is in the USA, but the Taco Bells here in BC, at least in the Vancouver area, it's like connected to a KFC. So that kind of, I don't know, where does the KF, is that like old KFC chicken that becomes Taco Bell? And then just added a bunch of taco seasoning to it or something? Depends on the location, USA Taco Bells are super hit and miss. Fair enough. And I think that could be it too. Like maybe my experience is more on the miss side in Canada, and maybe Reds has been a better experience. It's not like I. It's not like I'm, I get like very adverse reactions to Taco Bell. I'm just saying, for the same price, you have other other options. That's my point. It's not bad food per se. There's a local place here in Vancouver that does Mexican. It's not a fast food. It's like a restaurant type thing. It's a, it's called Sally Limon. I would rather go there. But obviously the price is different. But better quality. And it, it's not like open late, late. Like... Because um, Taco Bell here is open quite a, 
quite later too, right? Where, I mean, there's no, what's the closest Taco Bell to you? There's no Taco Bell close to you, right? I'm close to, actually, maybe. There's none? Oof. Okay, then maybe it's a different experience out overall. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Anybody else notice that the GPS lady in American Truck Simulator is so passive aggressive? It's like when you miss the right you miss the turn or you like exit too early because I need to stop at the thing, she goes, Never mind. I'll find a new route. Come on. Don't don't judge me. I need to bring my truck into the thing. The close ones in Surrey, yeah. I don't think there's any one I don't I don't think there's more before the downtown one fair. Oh I guess you are um like that might be more accessible for you. See you when I wake up is a gift I didn't. There's one in, near my sister's place in Langley. I can't remember where that is. I kind of, I, I might know where that is. Oh wait, I know that. That's the one next to a KFC, bro. Don't go there. <laughs> I mean, it' okay. I guess it's fine. But the quality of the food that's coming out of there, even on the KFC side, it's really garbage. At least, at least in comparison to the other Taco Bell. Keep right and then exit. Why are we talking about Taco Bell again? I'm hungry now. I kind of want some Taco Bell now. I was gonna reheat some chicken, but tacos got. Oh. Oh wait, why did I? <laughs> my my um, reaction to like, because I'm when I play WRC when I'm about to slip back, I always grab for the handbrake. It doesn't work here. Um, I was gonna reheat some chicken, but I got tacos in the mind now. So how did we get to Taco Bell again? Why are we talking about Taco Bell? Who who brought that in? Uh, Kaizen, bro, do you think forty seventy Ti is compatible? Yes, of course. What make what? Uh, it's gonna be compatible for sure. Because I think it really depends on. It was my fault. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, Red brought up the whole Taco Bell con convo, hey? But yeah, um, Kaizen, you should be fine. They gotta sponsor me for real. <laughs> hey, I'd love a Chipotle sponsorship. Chipotle's... I would, I would take Chipotle over... Taco Bell, but I, I realize they're not the same. <laughs> they're not the same, like, um, Ghost. thing. Fifty-nine fifty or fifty-nine hundred? You can afford it? Fifty-nine fifty? Fuck it. Because I think fifty-nine fifty is the one that has sixteen cores. I believe. And I'm pulling I'm pulling this out of memory, so I could be wrong. But I think the 5950 is the one that's um a, a 16 core, and then there's a 5900 that's a, a 12 core. Both of them will work, Kaizen. It again the question here is what workload you're throwing at it. 
because cores, the number of cores on a computer is only useful if you use it. If you have a lot of cores and you're never going to use it, you're just paying for extra things that you're never going to burn, you know? You're not going to burn. You're, ever, you're never going to use. Because I think that's, that's pretty common for people that I've, I've uh, interacted with where they're like... Because it's not really their fault either. It's not your fault either because AMD and Intel make the entire CPU landscape. Actually, not just Intel. NVIDIA and AMD... They do the same thing. They make it so darn confusing with all the numbers and all the num all the crap that they put on marketing that it confuses the, the consumer. I just want to play GTA roleplay and live stream. I mean, both of those CPUs will be fine. I don't think you'll need the, the two extra cores that you're gonna get from the 5950X would really make much of a difference. Um, because the number of cores that you have is usually useful when you're doing a lot of things at the same time. But there will be a point where you're doing too much, or you're not doing too much that you're going to saturate all your cores anyways. So 5950 or 5900 will do the job. Fun like, funny enough, I'm running a 5600 on my PC, and it's still fine. Um, mind you, I don't stream off of it, but if I did, I still can. Um, the game, the PC that's running the games right now is a 5600 and it still does, it will do the job just fine. 5950 could get, yeah, I think 5950 would be overkill, depends on what, like, again, it depends on what you do, right? Like, if you're literally playing and streaming, you can get away with a 5800 even. Ex uh, but if you're going, to, if you're getting a 5800, you get the X3D version instead, which gives you... A little extra um, caching, I believe it's, it is. 5900 is... Yes. 5900 is arguably overkill to just... Yes. I think it's useful if, let's say, the 5950 or the 5900. Both is useful if you're using your computer outside of streaming. So, like, let's say you're... You're a con you know, you're becoming a content creator and you're making videos and editing videos and... Yeah, sure. Um, and at, at a certain point, getting a 5900 versus a 5600, that, co that conversation doesn't even matter at, at a certain point anymore, which is this point that we're talking about, as your RAM. <laughs> how fast is your RAM? What RAM you're using? And if your board can even handle how fast that RAM is. I mean, if you have, if you're choosing between the two options, Kaizen, it's not either option between the 5900 and the 5950 will do the job for you. But to Red's point, you don't need all of that. But if you want to go for it, by all means, it's your money, it's not mine. So send it. <laughs> We're just people on the internet that gives our opinions. I guess that's what it is. I'm using 32 gigs of RAM, is that enough? Yeah. That's fine. I used to stream, uh, when I used to run a single PC setup, I used to stream on a 16 even at that, a certain point. But now I'm, a 30, I'm on a 32 uh, gig kit and it, it's perfectly fine. You could even go, maybe it might be, even be a money saving it, it, uh, strategy to do... Um, a 5800X3D instead of going for 5900 or 5950 because the X3D gives you a 3D vca a bigger uh, the 3D vcache makes it that you get better response in games that might be a better strat in this case either way you can't go wrong um, with any any of those will, will do the job for you Especially if you're running a 4070 
because you can also like again it, as I'm you know as I'm as I'm talking about this, it reminds me of like what else is around that build that could be your bottleneck. You know what I mean? Is the cat ever be ever in the bed? No. The bed is just chilling there. When I look to the bed, can you see the bed? What monitor should I use? Oh my god, I looked down to the chat. Um, anything. That's, the monitor is a more of a you, it's a preference for you. There's a few things that I would say that if you're shopping for a monitor to look at, number one, refresh rate. Number two, resolution. And, I, and usually it's flipped, but for me as a gamer, it's usually the back. I, I prefer, I look at the refresh rate first, then the res. Because no matter how many res, how much res you can, that you, you have, if your computer can't push out so many frames, it's irrelevant. It's a moot point. Um, so refresh rate, uh, resolution, the panel type, that sometimes matters. And also if it's mountable. That's a very small thing, but it could also be a deal breaker because there are people that would want to mount monitors on arms and stands. Like my, my monitor in the simulator right now is a 34 inch uh, ultra wide that's mounted directly to the rig. So I could put wheels on this and I can just like fucking, yeah. Uh, do they make monitors without base amounts? Yes. Um, only one comes to mind right now, but I'm sure there's more. LG makes a really nice looking monitor. It's like an Ultra Gear, um, catered to the Mac market. That's why it's got a USB port, USB C port. There's no, there's no vase amount, but it's got a really elegant, like, stand thingy. ASUS makes one as well. It. I remember. Oh, I remember because I used to sell this back at NTX. ASUS made made a 27 inch monitor in their MX line, which is like their professional one, professional line. Not at all professional, it's just, it just looks elegant. Um, it's got a fancy looking stand, it's got a look, you know, a round base stand instead of a normal one, but no, no vase amount. So there are monitors that do uh, not have vase amounts. There are monitors where the vase amount is actually an aftermarket purchase. So that's also another thing. There are monitors where your vase amount would be a $79 add-on to the monitor that's worth $200. Like, this doesn't make any sense. By the way, Kaizen, welcome in. I forgot to welcome you, and hopefully you're you're having a good time and uh, having a good week. Where are we now? Are we, oh, we're already in Texas? Okay. Oh, right. This is mapped to a handbrake. Okay, so it's th th this handbrake still works in uh, in ATS. It's, it's mapped to my parking brake. Thanks, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hopefully you, that, that helps. I know I tend to spew out a lot of crap in terms of when I get super nerdy, I just can't stop. Um, but it does help if people stop me and say, you know, slow me down or whatever. I'll be more than happy to, to try and slow myself down. And I'm not doing it because I can't. I'm doing it be Oh, oh, oh my god. I'm stalling. Hold on, hold on. Let me focus on this. I can't get the clutch to bite. There it is. There it is. The, the bite point of the clutch is all the way to the ground. Go straight on. That's the biggest, the, the, the scariest thing if you're a, a manual driver, even especially IRL, when you're on a hill and you're like, you can't get it to bite and the thing will just start rolling back. <laughs> yeah, you're very welcome. 
Hopefully you've been well though. Hopefully your weekend you have a you have a a good weekend coming up. And then hopefully you had a better week. Wait, that's backwards. But you get my point. I actually considered getting a 5900 or a 5950. Oh, Sari bought us back. Okay. Interesting. I'm still here. Memories. Sweet child of mine. I think the ad is over. I think the ad is over now. Welcome back, everybody, from the ads. Hopefully, I don't know, y'all. Hopefully, y'all saw some cool ads or something. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. Uh, I've been getting some really like. I mean, honestly, that's whole part of the whole targeted ads thing is the ad should be relevant. I'm hoping y'all got some good ones. Um, but yes, welcome back, everybody. Also. Sari bought us back, so I guess they figured it out. <laughs> Why are we stopped here? Hello? What's going on? Oh, there's a stuck, there's a truck that's stuck. That's unfortunate. 
And it's a Boeing truck. That's uh that's pretty uh pretty apt. I forgot this truck also the 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 problem with the freight liner there's a lot of beeping going on the truck just like beeps at random things like if you're going too fast it starts beeping when you're getting close to somebody it starts beeping oh my god dude that's there's a there's a point where it's, there's that's an excessive amount of beeping Back on the highway, cruise control is back on. Keep left. Today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna throw it back to you. By now, I should have somehow realized that you got to do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Go straight on. Backbeat, the words on the street that the fire in your heart is out. I'm sure you heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. There are many things that I would like to say to you, and I don't know how. You're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder Today is gonna be the thing. And all the roads will lead you swear are winding.
There are many things that I would like to say to you and I don't know how. You know, having the uh, the shakers, the, the bass shakers on my pedal board does wonders for manual shifting. Like I can feel, there's a I can feel it when the when the the bite point is. It's not the same as a real car where you can feel it through the pedal, but you can this one I can feel it through the plate. It's it does wonders though. At least it helps me to know that the the clutch is actually engaging. saves me you're gonna be the one that saves me <sighs> oh we need to find the rest stop Let's go to right here. We get gas, we get, uh, and then we get Let's do this. rest. Creed, you gotta love Creed. Nowhere. But I'm down to one last breath. And will it let me say, let me say, hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking Maybe six feet ain't so far down Oh, the sunset! Sunset's behind us I missed the court. Uh, the entrance is on the other side. Turn right. Keep right. Where's the truck entrance? Turn. I think it's this one. I think we may as well um, fuel up while we're here. I know we have a lot of fuel still. But uh, let's fuel up here and then let's also... Oh, actually, hold on. I'm gonna... Let's do the fuel thing. I saw something in the map, in the GPS that we, I want to hit, which is down the road a little bit. Uh, uh, there's a question mark there that we can like unlock. And then we'll find somewhere to rest. 
there. Actually, I'm gonna drop my my load here. And then I'm just gonna go explore that thing next door. And then I'll come back. Oh, it's a Volvo dealership. Today in a blink of an eye, hope is known as something that I do not know why. Okay. All right, let's go back. Gotta find a way out. Maybe there's a way out. Your voice, like a soundtrack of my summer, you're unlike any other. You always be my thunder. I said, your eyes, like the brightest of all the colors. Today, I'm on my own. <sighs> All right, let's rest up. You know what? We'll take this time. We'll take this time to hit a bathroom break. Um, I'll just take the BRB screen on. An ad will probably run, so we won't have to do with an ad for another hour if I force it to run right now. And then, um, yeah, I'll be back. Don't cut, fight left of a crest. Intersect right, 100. Six. No! Oh, we're alive, we're alive! <laughs> that was a funny, that's a funny thing. Six left of a crest. Into that's a clip. Long Titans. 50. Caution, four left of a crest. Are you, hello! Uh, ah! God damn it! Big crest 60. Ah! No! Five left of a big crest 60. Up into four right of a crest. <laughs> and six <laughs> long opens of a jump 60. No! I lost my hood. A jump maybe. Keep right of a 80. No! <laughs> I popped off. <laughs> what do you mean? I listened. I.
100, 6 left of a small crest, 60, small crest, 50, 4 right of a dip, 70. God, this, left this group B is 70. very fast. Long crest, continues over 100, a jump into 6 right of a dip, tightens 4, extra, extra long. Whoa! 50, flat left of a crest, into 6 right of a dip, and 5 left of a crest, logs inside, tightens 4, 50, keep left of a jump, 50, 6 right long, tightens, 70, 6 left, tightens of a crest, into 5 right, tightens of a dip, 40, 3 left of a crest, into 5 right of a crest, into 6 right long of a crest, into 6 left of a crest, 50, 3 right of a dip, tightens, the turbo, ah, into the turbo lag, opens middle of a crest, 60, 6 right long, tightens, it's like off. you get past 4000 RPM, it just go, you get a major boost of torque, to stop, well done, Jesus Christ, Oh god. Oh no, I'm sorry about your trees. And people just vote, right? If people want to see certain types of content, then we will do what we do. Pull pull hot tubs and okay. Is he? Is he? Shut the fuck up. Shut up, shut up. Oh. Long tarmac. Don't cut through bales. Keep right of a 30 turn. One right. Opens of a crest. Gravel. 50. Oh. Five left. Into flat right I, of I a thought there was a left turn. Opens long. Tightens of a jump. Into five left of a crest. Tightens very long. Into six right. 50. Four right. Extra long. Opens flat of a crest into six left. Hello, hello. So I went, when I went to the washroom, right? I came back. We're back, by the way. Hello. Um, I saw a notification on my Twitch thing. Something that says plus program or something. What does that even mean? Let me read. Let me see if I can read the notifi uh, pull up notification and read it to you guys. And I, I, it's the notification wasn't there until I started stream, so I never, I never read about about it. There's something called the plus program. What's the plus point on stream goals? What does that mean? Is that something that anybody does? Anybody know anything about that? And if you click it, it just sends you straight into the creator dashboard. I don't get it. Hmm. Anyways, that's really weird. I don't know if that's a real thing or, or a new thing that I missed out on. Okay. Let's continue driving. Okay, where is the exit here? the small things true things true things you'll be oh thank you thank you appreciate it people are waiting for me to cross that's sick except for that Camaro of course it's coming oh, of course it's a Camaro Like all of them were waiting for me to, to turn, except for that green Camaro.
Late night, come home. Work sucks, I know. She left me roses by the stairs. So I will not go You know in the past few week days uh, Yeah, I was gonna say if maybe we can switch to Helldivers part way towards the end, but I really I remembered I already did the daily today the daily mission for Helldivers is actually super easy it's just 400 automaton kills, which is just just go into like easy level or easy difficulty and just keep throwing bombs. <laughs> like open door leading you down into my core, and he comes so numb. Ah, I'm sleeping, sleeping somewhere cold Until you find there with me Lead me to life Wake me up inside Wake me up inside Call my name and save me from the dark Bring my blood to run Now that I know what I'm without I can't just lead me Breathe into me It makes me real Wake me up inside Call my name and save me from the dark In my blood to run Or I come undone Save me from the nothing I've become Frozen inside without your touch Without your love, darling Only you among them Bring me to life Recompute Save me
right and then turn right. Let the good times roll in case God doesn't show. Comes to life, who does he think he is? One night and one more time, thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so great. I'll go eat, have fun. Thank you, I will. Have a great dinner. I don't know if you're going to end up to get, are you getting, I guess you're getting tacos now, hey? And this crystal ball. But, welcome. but, um, but yeah, thank you for coming by. I uh, hopefully you have a great weekend if I don't see you later on. And uh, yeah, have a great meal. One night and one more time Thanks for the memories Even though they weren't so great Okay, I'm kind of tired of shifting now I'm gonna, we're gonna do, we're gonna go automatic At least that way, uh, I can, uh I can just use cruise control for the most part I don't have to deal with having to clutch. Get me out of my mind. Get you out of this cold. Turn right. One more time. Go straight on. Still waiting. So am I still waiting? Does this is dissipating? So am I still waiting to dis dissipate and find a good reason?
Charminx. How are we doing? Happy Friday. How are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Made paradise and put up a parking lot. Pop, pop, pop. Put it on a tree museum. Oh. Playing Destiny 2 today? Nice. I see a lot more people playing Destiny 2, Destiny 2 these days. Was there something new? Was there uh was there like a patch or a new season? What's what's going on? I know Japan has been playing it recently too. Don't it always seem to go But you don't know what you got Till it's gone To pave paradise And put up a parking lot Made paradise And put up a parking lot Pop, pop, pop Pop, pop, pop New update And former locked weapons revamped New next DLC isn't too far away too. Ah, that's why. So people are like trying to get the grind on. I get it. I never got into that game. Like I think when it became free to play, I played it for a little bit. But it, it became a little too grindy. That I think the grind started too early, I think. For me in a game for me for a game I need to for me to get hooked onto it, like it would the grind has to be a little later, like towards the end game. Um but at least for my experience when I tried Destiny 2, I, I kinda get that I got that feeling first. Like it got a little grindy towards the begin towards the earlier part of my playthrough. Um uh, and then a lot of the battle pass has been like is usually being fed on like force not force fed but like advertised everywhere that to make you buy the thing Keep right. but outside of that how are we doing jarmings are you are you back to work by the way I keep pressing the wrong button. Not working yet, but probably will be in a month or less. Fair enough. Go straight on. At least, are you feeling better though? Like, your eye good enough to like drive around and shit? Because I think that's why you stopped before. Look me in the eye. Go straight on. Just like an angel. It lets me cry. I was special. So fucking special. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I in here? I don't belong here. Uh, 
yeah hopefully you're 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 good enough like work wise like you can you can like your eyes are good enough to like work i think last time you mentioned the reason the reason why you if i remember correctly the reason why you stopped to begin with was because of your eyes like something went wrong with it so hopefully that's good enough or better for you to be able to do what you need to do I wish I was special I'm a cream I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Is you It's not as bad, but gotta make another eye doc appointment. I uh, can't drive at night right now, but daytime has been okay. Okay. Do you need to get like glasses to? Does glasses help with it? Like, are there like are there like certain kind of lenses that can help you work work the nighttime or deal with nighttime? Fucking special. I'm a window. All right, I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna drink a little water. This is your reverse hydrate redeem. You're watching. Maybe it's time to get some water for a little bit, yeah? Or sorry, a little bit of water is what I meant to say. Make sure to hydrate yourself. Go straight up. Across the new divide. Then turn left. Turn left. Actually, hold on. I'm going to remap. Oops. I'm going to map the but uh, one of the buttons on the wheel for a sec here let's map the engine brake t 
to this button. So if I need to slow down, I can use that. Oh, never mind. I guess engine braking wasn't as useful if I'm playing from driving the uh, driving the manual version, but if I'm driving automatic in game, then yeah. I already wear glasses, but tests keep running back. Running the the test they keep running is black text on white background. What I need them to do is black background, white text as it mimics night driving or astigmatism that I have. Oh, okay, I getcha. So they're not doing the right testing. Are there other, like, doctors that would do it for you, though? Like, can you swap doctors? I don't think I drank enough water today, so I need to, like, I get a lot more in me. I'm gonna try and do more, like, I'm probably gonna have a lot more bathroom breaks throughout the stream, but it's better for me to make sure that I don't have issues. At the end of the day, you're, you have to be hydrated anyways. Sugar, baby. Butterfly sugar baby. This is a new doctor already, but the original issue was mental related. Now he's got a test for astigmatism. Ah, uh, okay. Well, hopefully things go good, man. And I, it, it would suck for you to have to go back to work for circumstances that, if I recall, aren't, you know you can't do much about and it would suck to be in that circum in that situation where you it's not working you can't like fully get your your vision is not great Dude, Texas is massive. Wonder where's D? Can we find D here? <laughs> like where's uh let's let's go let's go crash uh let's go crash D's house.
Why are these so slow? The speed limit here is 180, 120 something kilometers per hour. We're only at 80. What's going on? Go faster. Oh, also, I need to do something. Well, imagine as I'm pacing the pews in the church corridor and I can't help but to hear but to hear an exchanging of words. What a beautiful wedding. What a beautiful wedding says the bridesmaid too. Oh, yes, but what a shame. Groom's bride is a hope. Oh, these are not mapped. Infotainment display mode. Let's try. Uh, let's do delete. And then dashboard. That's good. Navigation. Insert. Do I need to open? I don't need the map windows open, closed. Okay. What does the retarder do for a truck? I don't actually never. I've, I, I should have looked that up. I don't. I don't think I have. I don't have that button mapped at all. But should I? I guess is the question. Skid marks past the places when you used to learn. Hold on.
Oh my god, I closed it. I said I'll always be there Ever since we were ten When we were out in the playground Playing pretend I didn't know it back then Now I'd realize You were the only one Never too late to show it Grow all together The feelings we have before we were so innocent I pray for all your love God your love was so unreal somebody pinch me this is something like a movie then exit right Straight on. Oh, the nights that you cry. How could I tell you I loved you when you were so happy? With some other guy, 
Now I realize you were the only one Never too late to show it Grow on together and feel as we had before We were so innocent I pray for all your love Girl, your love is so unreal Touch you, squeeze you Somebody pinch me This is something like a movie I fell in love with my best friend You'll be my baby You will watch to me We're lighter than air and And I don't want to come back now And I don't want to ruin what we had Well, it's so unpredictable And it's the risk that I'm taking Hoping, praying I fell in love with my best friend I just want to reach and touch you, squeeze you What song is this? Grasslands chant. Oof. Angel. Tomorrow for me On Avenue A Goes my way And sets my gear Tomorrow for me Doggy Hell <laughs> Thank you. 
grates on. <sighs> oh no, my guy needs to sleep. All right, perfect, rest stop. Um, also need to use the washroom anyways. That's perfect. Oh, I missed this, the prompt. There we go. Okay, perfect. I'm actually gonna use the washroom as well. So we're gonna put it. We're gonna do a quick BRB thing. Um, as usual, ads will run, so we don't get stopped for the next hour. Um, and yeah, I'll be right back. Oh no, Chav is right behind you. Oh shit! Look out! <laughs> Easy! <laughs> Someone clip this! <laughs> Don't cut, fight left of a crest. Hit a six right, 100. Six. No! Oh, we're alive! We're alive! <laughs> that was a funny, that's a funny thing. Six left of a crest. Into that's a clip. And people just vote, right? If people want to see certain types of content, then we will do what we do. Pull, pull hot tubs and, okay, is he? Is he? Shut the fuck up. Shut up, shut up. 50, keep middle of a big bump jump. 60, caution, six right long touch, up two. Into two left, extra long, opens and tightens. And six right opens for 50. Three right tightens, keep in. To keep left of a 90. 
deceptive for white tons of a crest. Caution, six left, very long, tightens heavy left. Extra long, long, tightens four. Slow, 50, turn unseen, one right. Opens extra long of a crest, 160 of a bumps. Four left, extra, extra long, tightens turn, five left. Opens 80. Four left at bail. Don't cut. 30. Turn. One. Go. And two right. Half long. 60. One left. Long. Pass junction. And four right. Very long. 120. Eight open air on left. And four right, half long. Fifty, five right. And lead two left, keep in forty. Late four right, half. That's how I read it. I don't know if that's supposed to be how I read it, but that's how I read it. I think it's true too. And stay away from me, I will crash into you. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Ah! God damn it! I wasn't hello, ready. hello. <laughs> I think we're we should be back. Also, hello, Terry. I see you on YouTube today. What's going on? How are you? How's your weekend? Good morning. I think it's morning for you. We're playing. We're trucking today, actually. Uh, I just took a little bit of a bathroom break, but we're back. Not much. How about you? It's I'm, I've been good. Thank you for asking. I'm just we're really we're just kind of vibing today. Today usually this is what the Friday is usually just vibing, relaxing on on stream, driving trucks. Um, so it's not like your standard racing stuff. Um, on unfortunately again, YouTube does not get music, but. The Twitch version of the stream does have music, and right now we're listening to Lion King. <laughs> or the Lion King soundtrack, or a Broadway soundtrack. So, literally, it's just more of a relaxing vibe. That I'm excited to watch. Hell yeah. You have anything going on this weekend? Like, this is literally what happens on Fridays. Actually, it's very just... So much relaxing. Go I'm all, all good. I'm trying to get Twitch so I can watch. <laughs> I had no pressure at all. That's really up to you. I will say that Twitch, the Twitch chat thingy is definitely a lot faster. I think between the time that you send the message on YouTube and then the time that I see it is delayed by a couple seconds, I think. Um, or more. And there's not much I could do about it. Unfortunately, it's like a YouTube problem. Thanks, man. I'll try my best. Yeah. Are you? I hope you've been well as well. Hopefully, your week has been. Uh, your week ends on a really good note. I mean, your week is over now at this point. Your work week. Um, it is the weekend at this point for you. Yeah, I think overall the week has been good for me as well, so, um... Oh, was it Friday for you? I thought you're, um... Wait, sorry, did I did I mistake you from someone... For someone else? Whereabouts are you from?
Australia. Wait, really? Usually when I have Australian audiences, Friday, when I start, when I'm streaming on my Friday stream, it's usually like early morning Saturday for them. Maybe I'm like, I don't know. The ideas he was pursued. Either way, either way. Hopefully you have a, you're, you're having a good weekend so far because you're still ahead of us. So at this point, your Friday is pretty much over. So that's cool. Go straight on. Pretty excited about this week though. The YouTube video that... Sorry, I'm confused. Lol. Yes, it is Saturday. Okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure like... When Sid and Izzy are in the chat, it's usually like, it's usually Saturday <laughs> when I show up on Fridays. Um, but yeah, hopefully things have, been, things have been good with you. Um, the YouTube video that released yesterday surprisingly had a really good view count. Um, although the comments are not as good, but the view count on that video was actually pretty good. And also the uh, yeah, and also the um, the response overall with it, I, I, I guess, is what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on with the truck. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the video was great. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's not... I actually was so close to deleting that video because I didn't think it was good enough. But I was like, F it. I don't... I was like... I was thinking about it in, in the frame... The, the, the mindset of... Um, just based on the previous view counts of all my other videos that I've made over the last couple of weeks, I was like, no one's going to see it. No one's really going to care. So screw it. We're just going to send, we're just going to post it. Let it, let it do its thing. And funny enough, that's got the most response and views over the last few videos that I've made. And it's probably because it's not related to how many views did I get? I don't know. I think like 80 or something, which is quite a bit considering the others. And also quite a bit in the context that I never posted it somewhere else. Because I, I generally, like whenever, I, I forget. I, I forget sometimes to post it on to like my social media. That, hey, I made a new, this new video is out or whatever. Um, but it's like, that was not, those are, most of those were like, most of those views were from suggested or like, just normal algorithm stuff, you know? Pretty cool. Like, interesting. I'm not really so... I, basically, I was expecting to it for it to do nothing, and then I'll just make... I'll, I'll just kind of move on like a normal thing. But usually, my videos usually don't perform well. Really? What kind of content do you make on YouTube? Actually, we might we might just talk and chill after this delivery is over because I don't think I'll have enough time to make another one. So we'll end this delivery and then push forward. Gaming, I've gotten into horror, but one of my latest ones somehow got 1,000 views. That's good. That's a lot of views, dude. Congratulations. I mean, I don't necessarily know what to do either, to be fair. Like, I'm... Like, just like anybody on YouTube, no one really knows what the algorithm does and how it works. How to please it and how to get your video to be picked up and then 
kind of pushed around. So none of us really know what's going on half the time. So I stopped looking at the views. <laughs> but it was just today was weird because when you, you know, when you open the YouTube studio app. So if you're, I guess for context on the video, on the, on the viewers on Twitch side as well. Like when you're a YouTube creator, there's an app called YouTube Studio. Uh, it's available on iOS and Android. And it allows you to like look at metrics on mobile instead of being on the computer. Um, and when the video, the video yesterday went live, I was like, okay, cool. I went live. I just kind of let it be. And oh, buddy. Why did you? Why are you so slow? Um, yeah, so I just let it be and whatever. And then I opened up the, I opened up the app this morning, and you know how, you know that uh, there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a function in YouTube Studio called like the one out of ten or whatever. Like it's out of the ten videos that you top your top ten videos. Which number is this video that we're talking about? And that Night Runners video that I released yesterday is one out of ten right now, which is which usually triggers like a little fireworks animation when you open the app. So when I opened it up this morning, I'm like, wait a second, that fireworks thing came up, and I was like, wait, people actually like this video? What the hell? <laughs> I actually, like, I shit you not, I was so close to just scrapping it. Because I didn't think there was enough content in it in terms of like like the meat of the video is kind of lacking because um, the the issue with with I, I there was some problems with me running the game and using it and playing it um, but I mean it kind of worked pretty well so that's good um, I might come back to that game at some point. The next, I, I made a couple, I actually filmed and made new videos again. So Thursdays is when new videos come out on Twitch, or YouTube. And that's usually the same day that I am working on. Uh, that's, that's usually the day that I spend, like, off stream, but I'm working on videos still. Like, I would usually film stuff or edit stuff for that day. Uh, on that day, and that's what I did yesterday. I actually got two videos made yesterday to become that are coming out next week. Uh, one of them is kind of a vlog style, but vlog style on top of American truck. So it's a different format. It's a video where I'm literally driving an American truck, where similar to this, where I'm doing American truck simulator things, but at the same time is kind of a vlog style where it's up you know it's an up like a life update video kind of thing so i'm um, it's i'm just kind of mumbling on and talking about stuff uh, which is pretty different uh, and the other one is rally school so there's a function called rally school in wrc and um i made i made a video of me testing it trying it out and then next weekend oh this weekend actually this sunday uh, i'll be streaming again on both channels um twitch and youtube because i'm doing the creator series in wrc which is basically like a you have arrived at your destination which is basically um a race a club within wrc with a bunch of creators on it um i don't think i don't expect to do really well but i'm gonna try my best to survive it is my my, my goal Gotta come back tomorrow. Is it tomorrow for you? Cause it's Sunday for me, which would be which would mean Monday for you. I think that's how it works. Cause the timings, right? The the time zones don't like really work out. Like it just doesn't match up. It's gonna be Sunday for me, Monday for Australia, because. Normally, I would stream on Mondays my 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 time, which would be Tuesdays for Australia. But I have a like a, a prior appointment that I forgot that was already happening. I had a I've got a what's it called? I've got a dental appointment thing going on. I've got school then. Oh wow, that's okay. 
the the vod will be on YouTube no matter what. But also, I think for the creator series one, I might make it into a video, like a more edited down video where it's just the stages and maybe some, you know, opening and ending commentary. But the rest of it is just the stages. Um, or maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll voice over it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm a young one. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But uh, yeah, it's something that. I might I might make a video out of it. We'll see. We'll see. Or maybe I won't stream it on YouTube, but record it for. Vi I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, but the in the the whole point, the whole the whole plan for Sunday would be to literally go live, do some practice, um, and then go do the the series. And then if I ex if I you know I lose or have it. If I end up like, what's the word? If I end up failing and I have to retire early, then the stream ends. Nothing, nothing crazy. Like, or chat. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm water skiing this weekend. Hell yeah. I've never done water skiing. I've tried to do wakeboarding uh, up here in Canada. Um, it's a little difficult to get up to stand up because of my my size and why my width and my weight. Uh, but snowboarding, I've done a lot. Um, I've I've got years of snowboarding under my belt because um, when I moved to Canada, that's one of the things that I did. Um, actually, we're we're gonna continue our convo over here. Give me a give me a second. Wakeboarding takes a bit of getting used to it. it does. And the thing is, we don't have access to a lake all the time. Like, there is a lot of lakes around here, but there's also a lot of, um, it, it's, a, it's a fair drive, and you have to rent a boat and all that. With snowboarding and being in Canada, it's so easy to access. Um, so, so, I think it's a different, it might be a, like a different type of thing. Have you tried kneeboarding? No, I have not. I have not. It would be cool though. It would be nice to try it at some point. Um, I don't think I just have a lot of opportunities to do it. Yeah, you have a boat? Makes sense. Yeah, because for us, it's like, for me at least, I'll have... The, 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 the problem is for me to have access to a boat, A, I have to rent a boat, or go pay somebody to specifically for the purposes of... Um, wakeboarding or kneeboarding or whatever like water sports are expensive here and um i mean snow sports is as well to be fair but the thing is we have easier access to it here because you don't have to really have a boat you just pay the mountain you go to the mountain you pay them for the fees for the to use it for the day and that's it <laughs> so i've got years of about i've got years of snowboarding under my belt pretty much I, i've done like I think I've done a few black... Uh, actually, I've done a lot of black runs in my life. Double blacks are not... What are attempts are... What are the attempts there right now? Let's see. Nice, man. So snowboarding sounds fun. It It is kind of fun. It's dangerous. But just, just like any sport you could go you could do something very stupid and get yourself broken but it's fun it's fun uh right now it's 15 degrees celsius here um yeah that's right it, it is like it is like close to 5 p.m my time though so we're kind of getting to the point of it the, the day is getting a little colder um usually during the afternoon uh, well actually you know you know what never mind it's starting to it might get it might actually be um it might actually get colder after this um the peak today is 15 so it's not too bad 
Uh, but then again, I'm in, I'm in Canada. It's generally cold here. Um, we don't get as much snow, though, at least. Wait, you, have, you guys have big school holidays soon? I have no idea. I never went to school here. Um, I don't actually know how Canadian school systems fully work because I never went to school here. Uh, when I got to Canada from Asia, I was already an adult, so I never know. <laughs> but I do know, what I do know is there's a lot of holidays in Canada, for sure. Like, I think every month there's at least one. Um, because I do have siblings, and they, you know, sometimes... I don't live with them anymore, but when I used to, there'll be days, like, random-ass days of the month. Well, they're like... They're just like... There's no work, or there's no school today because it's X, Y, and Z holiday or whatever. It's cool. But there is a lot of holidays here for sure. Like, what is it now? It's, ap it's April? I think there's a holiday coming up in Canada. Let's see. Oh, wait, Easter. I just, that just, it just finished. So, I mean, it does, it, it is a thing. Yeah, Canada's, Canada's pretty nice, honestly. It, there's a lot of, the thing is, it's definitely, it's getting kind of worse now. It's expensive to live here now. There's people who actually are leaving Canada to go to Asia to live or to Europe because it's definitely cheaper there now. Like, and this is my something. This might be something that you'll learn as you grow older, Terry, because you're still young. But, dude, being an adult is hard. <laughs> I've never seen snow before when I go to Canada, or Japan, or something. Japan, Japan is pretty good, um, snow-wise. Like you don't, it's not that far, and um, they have a lot of snow there as well. Okay, um, what time is it? So it's... Actually, you know what? We might just end a little earlier today because I'm actually kind of tired. I mean, I, if, I, there's, there's a little bit of me... Uh, I was like kind of sleepy earlier while I was driving. Uh, not right away, but like I said, we're, we'll end like maybe an hour, like a few minutes earlier than we normally do. Where in Asia did you grow up? I grew up in the Philippines. Um, I'm... I'm uh, I was born and raised in the Philippines, Terry. That sounds tiring. Yeah. I mean, it, th this week was also kind of a, a crazy week for me. Like, I was, I was telling the story earlier, but... When I was, so Thursdays is usually when I don't stream on any platform. I don't stream on Twitch nor on YouTube on that day. And um, my, um, my what's it called? I, I, I sat down uh, in the rig to make a new video, but that video f fell apart as soon as I started. It's because the game that I was going to make a video about did not work with my, my rig. And I spent maybe an hour, almost an hour and a half, trying to figure it out. Why is it not working? And then I was running out of time because I really only have Thursdays, the entirety of Thursdays, to make videos and edit and do all of that because of the way I've scheduled. I've, I mean, I can always adjust my schedule, but I don't like deviating from my existing schedule where I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Or sorry, Monday, Tuesday... Wednesday, Friday, and then, and then Tuesday is the only one that does not go live on YouTube, because usually, usually Tuesday has music. Uh, either I'm, maybe I'm on here, maybe we're producing new stuff um, here, or we're playing instruments. So it does take a little bit of like I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with the stuff on YouTube, because like for example on Wednesday, 
right? At the end of Wednesday stream, which is probably Thursday for you, Terry, um, when I towards the end of that stream, right, people were like, "Oh, you should do that. You should sing." So I plugged in the guitar and did the whole singing singing bit. When the stream was over, there's a copyright um, mark on that particular vod because I sang songs that are not mine. Um, copyright on YouTube is just very, very stringent. It's very, very strict. So having to deal with that kind of sucks. So I won't do any more. I don't want to do music stuff on YouTube unless it's my own music. Uh, but then on music streams that I on streams that I do music production, I don't think I will. Like it's not always gonna be the same. Like my music, sometimes I would play other people's music as well, and if that's the case, then I would rather not have to deal with it, you know. So, oh no, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't apologize. It is what it is. It's part of the whole thing, right? Which is also the reason why I stopped making. I, I don't. I'm no longer making live sets for my other channel because I have another YouTube channel. In fact, I've got four. YouTube channels. Um, there's this one that is where a lot of my um, what's it called? A lot of my gaming and technology stuff is on. I've got another one where it's called Jam Sessions, which is my which is me singing and stuff. Like it's like more acoustic guitar, and I'll just be singing or karaoke or like song covers and such like that. There's another one which is Jam on Music which is where I put DJ sets. So when I DJ, it goes on there. Uh, and there's another one where it's more vloggy content where I would like... Um, um, it's usually when I travel with my, my partner or my girlfriend, we go, we go and I would re record vlogs or like we'd vlog it and then just make it into a video. Uh, I don't normally make videos for those channels anymore, especially the one, the, the, the music, the DJ one, because... Again, copyright. Whenever I made, I it it abs it sucked. Was it two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago, where I made two DJ sets. In the in the effort to in the effort to make one one week ahead videos, uh, so I have more time to edit or whatever. Um, but guess what? As soon as I got it got uploaded, YouTube was like blocked because of copyright on the music so I was like well shit that's I wasted so much time because the amount of time involved to make stuff like that it's not just like me performing it on the decks I have to plan the set test it practice it perform it record it edit send it to the to YouTube and all of that just went to waste because I can't post it anywhere so I'm not doing that anymore so what I'm gonna do which is what I've started doing this week, is to divert that extra time to make a second video for the main channel. Because the main channel would probably would ultim ultimately be the main one at the end of the day anyways. So I'll just put... Um, if I do DJ on stream on Twitch, and I put... And uh, if I want to use... If I want to upload that to the DJ... To the music channel, then it'll go there. But I won't prepare sets anymore for it um can you put them all in chat oh um there's only the one that i have a command for it's this one you should see it on the youtube chat as well um that's the one that has a lot of my dj sets when i do dj some of them are still actually all of them are still there it's just the last, there's one that's not there because I couldn't upload it, right? So, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think, hopeful, I think this time, I'm going to divert a lot of my focus on the main channel. It's missing some milk, do you think so? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll go to the BRB, no problem. You don't have, oh, okay, sure. Um, I just found that there's so much work that I put onto it that will just kind of that that is like that may or may not just get deleted because reasons. So it is what it is. So 
going forward, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to create videos, more videos on the main channel instead, and then just upload it to those. And then Twitch streams will still be the same. Like you know, we're still gonna be doing, um, we're still gonna be doing WRC here. We're still gonna be doing American Truck Sim here, Hell Divers, um, Pal World. When uh, the new Pal World maps come out, we're gonna jump on that. Uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do Overwatch two. I think next week we'll do Overwatch two on Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream that on YouTube. I'm not sure. Um, uh, but on Twitch for sure we'll do Overwatch two on some day on some day or another. I forgot what I don't know what day it is yet, but we will do Overwatch two because season ten starts uh, for Overwatch two next week. When Pal World releases their new map, we're gonna hop back onto Pal World as well. Um, Hell Divers for sure will still become uh, will still play that for sure. There's gonna be a lot more content on driving specific type games as well. Like I think I want to try getting BM G to work, uh, Euro Truck Sim because I already own those games. Um, so yeah, that will be fun. Yeah, dude, YouTube sucks. Yeah, it does suck, but it, I think the copyright system on YouTube is there to protect the creators. So I think. Yes, there's probably better ways of doing it, to be fair. But also, you know, it's, it's the reality of how we do all this. Because for Twitch, copyright stuff, what happens with copyright stuff on Twitch is they just mute the, that section of that stream. So um, if I'm playing music, uh, if I'm playing music on Twitch while I'm streaming, that section of stream that has copyrighted music, it will just get muted. And I, so it'll just be quiet. Or you set it up in the same way that I'm doing right now, where if I'm streaming to, if I'm streaming to Twitch, I've got two audio, or audio streams. One would be what you're hearing right now uh, on the Twitch side, which has music. And then the one that actually got saved, the, 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 that, that actually get, that gets saved onto the VOD, has no music, period. And that's, that's the same. And that mix is what YouTube is hearing. YouTube is hearing the mix that Twitch VOD has. Because Twitch take, allows for two audio streams. YouTube does not. But on the other side, on the other hand, YouTube allows for higher quality streaming. Right? The, the, the quality of stream on YouTube is going to be so much sharper. Like you're probably seeing me as more of a, as sharp as it ever can be. And it is what it is. You know, they have their kind of they, they have their own thing that they're better at on both sides. And that's why I use both. Um by stre by streaming my Twitch streams over to YouTube, it saves me time from backing it up. Because on Twitch, when you stream on Twitch, you only have what, 60 days or something until you lose your VOD. It gets deleted because you know it expires. But if I stream it on Twitch at the same on YouTube at the same time, it gets it gets saved as a stream on YouTube and it will stay there forever. Which is which is what I want. I want to be able to keep my vods safe on YouTube, just in case you know if something nice happens or whatever. For for memories, I want to go back and check out what happened, what my streams were like. I would love to be able to go back and check my streams from when I was still Facebook streaming, when I streamed on Facebook. A very long, uh, three or four, three year, three or so years ago, I would love to see how I did because I can compare how much I've gotten better. Because at the very beginning of anybody who's you know in their own streaming journey, chances are you're awkward as fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to talk. It's gonna be hard to like w just just provide. It's it's gonna be just hard to interact with people, especially when you're a new streamer when there's nobody in the chat. It's a little more difficult. And it's a skill that you do end up building over time. Like and funny enough, this skill of that I've got that I've put together that I've kind of built upon myself with streaming is also useful in the workplace. Like when I used to do again, when I used to when I used to have the job before I got laid off, I still spoke as if I'm streaming in meetings. Cause it's you you sound more confident and you sound that you have a you know it allows and also 
the skill within as a streamer to be able to fill dead air useful in the workplace actually meetings don't get all boring meetings don't get all like tired because there's no dead air um not that it matters right it's not an work is not entertainment but still right i think for me there's a lot of there's, uh, those things are kind of important So open up a restaurant and Okay. Um tell you what, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna raid on Twitch. We're going to end the YouTube stream in about five minutes or so. Confidence is key, for real, for real. I think, I think that's what matters a lot. Um, but then again, not everybody has that same thing. But if you look at people who uh, are streaming, especially the, I mean, the ones that I've met over the, over the years that I've been on Twitch, between their first time that I met them, to now night and day night and day so yeah sorry I'm gonna have to go no problem no problem we're ending anyways we're ending anyways thank you again for coming by Terry it's, it's great to see you uh, we'll probably talk again soon if anything we're probably gonna be live again on Sunday my time which is Monday your time I just don't know when yet but regardless I think I'm gonna try to get some practice in Croatia tomorrow uh, and then run the run the run the club on Sunday uh, come back yeah no problem I, I would love to see you again okay anyways we're gonna end it here um, on both streams actually let me see who's online Oh, Casey's on. All right, bye, man. All right, have a good one, uh, Terry. Thanks for coming by, man. Enjoy, enjoy water skiing. Let's uh, let's take a look. Okay, we know somebody who is a pretty active member of the community, and he's doing what seems like a birthday stream for 24 hours. So we're going to go ahead and raid him instead. His name is Andrew. Um, you probably see him on the Twitch stream as Ancephalosis, uh, on the Twitch chat uh, as Ancephalosis. He, it's his birthday, uh, and he's doing a 24-hour stream for his birthday. So we're going to go ahead and raid him. Um, on the YouTube side, nothing's going to change. It's just going to end. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, hello. So let's wait for the raid messages to happen. Um, in the meantime, though, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, we're ramping up. We're going to try to ramp up to two videos a week now instead of just one. So check that out. Um, like I said, the DJ channel is still active, but there won't be new videos. The, the video that's here to, that came out today will be the last one on that channel for the next little bit. Just because I don't want to deal with copyright nonsense for the next little bit. And um, I think that's it. Like I said, I will be streaming on Sunday sometime. Uh, make sure to join the Discord because that's where I will uh, announce it. To um, know what time I'm going to do it. Um, it'll be a very casual stream. It'll be me. Jason, what's up? Why are you on the... Why, huh? You're in YouTube chat. What are you doing there? Um, yeah, I'll be doing... I'll be running the EA, uh, EA Creator Series Club. Yes. You did that. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be, I'll be running the race 
I'll be running the EA Creator Series. It'll be against basically a bunch of other creators. That will be fun, and I'm going to get my ass whooped. That's fine, but it'll be a fun experience. So we're going to do that this weekend and basically every week going forward, but not on Sundays. It'll be Mondays. This weekend is just an outlier because I have a dental appointment on Monday. So yeah, quickly make sure to pop on the Discord because I'm going to announce this Sunday streams. And again, for the, for the Sunday stream or any sort of on the stream where I do the creator series, the chat, I won't be looking at chat period until the stages are over. So in between stages, I'll be looking at chat and chatting. But during the actual chat time or the race time, I the chat will be off because I find that I end up causing a lot of trouble by looking down at chat or looking to the side to read chat. So I'm going to focus and try to actually win. Not win, but try to get good times. I don't think I can win because that club also has a lot of esports drivers in it so there's no way i'm gonna fucking do anything <laughs> but um at least i can get some some seat time and get some practice all right we're gonna raid encephalosis again grab a message let me actually grab one of mine here um there we go it's his birthday so let's wish him a birthday uh let's wish him a happy birthday and uh I think that's it. We're going to read it out now. Okay. I think that's it. Thank you so much for coming by. It's been a great day. It's a little more of a chill day. Is he? Well, you're late. <laughs> to be fair, I normally stream for longer. But today is a little... Uh, I'm cutting it a little earlier. I'm a little tired. So, I've been lurking. Okay, okay. But yeah, we're going to be raiding Ancephalosis, a, co a member of this community that's been very, very um, active these days. It's his birthday. He's doing a 24-hour stream. He's, he's rallying, actually. He's about to do some clubs. So, it'll be fun to see them. And I think that's it. I will see you all next on Sunday, which is Monday for you Australia people. Uh, because I'm going to do the Crater Series. And then the next stream will be Tuesday. All right. Take care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Grab a raid message if you have not. And um, I think that will be it. I'll take... Supra? Holy God, is this Supra in the bank? Dude, is this a Supra? Whoa! It is a Supra. Is that a Supra? <laughs> Dude, is it a Supra? <laughs> Jesus. All right. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Freaking Supra? I know it's a Supra. Can you chill the fuck out? Okay. Uh, yeah, take care. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all next time. And remember, it's all going to be okay. Oh, Jam's here. Yo, what's up, Jam?